Hello everybody, my name is Bubble Zest and welcome back to Hearts of Iron 4. In today's video we'll be attempting the achievement House of Kurtz. You can do this in pretty much any country, but I'm going to be doing it as Germany. So let's begin, shall we? First off, obviously just do the standard research, support equipment, electronics, industry. Very simple at this stage of the game. Now for our civilian factories, we're going to build more military factories for now. They'll be fine. For the actual mills we have, we're going to put five mills into motorized and the rest into guns. Yeah, there we go. We'll dump the gas and the bombers for now, as well as all the other ships that Germany is building. And just build the one type of sub that we can spam out. This one. And have it deploy into the high sea fleet. Speaking of Germany's navy, put it all together. It should focus on the high sea fleet. There you go. Put it on strike force in the North Sea, English Channel, and so on. We'll be needing them in a bit. Right, for Germany's army, grab all of it, except the panzers, the motorized, the cavalry, and five infantry divisions. There you go, take those out. Put the remaining 20 on the border of Czechoslovakia. Start training up as many infantry units as Germany can afford, which is 22. But for the remaining 10, we're going to plan some naval invasions, because we're going to be taking advantage of the Fuhrer Director 25 trick again. So what we're going to do is have the tanks hit Dunkirk, Calais, and Deep, all from the same port of Wilhelmshaven, the closest port. There you go. Now, the cavalry is going to go very high into Britain. There you go, it's going to hit this port right here, so it can take Glasgow and maybe Edinburgh. Now, for the infantry, they're going to be changed over to motorised too. There you go. So, three of them are going to hit the port next to London, as you can see here, this port. Now, the remaining three are going to be hitting around Hull and Newcastle. There you go, once they've landed, they'll be okay, and we can just use them to rush down. Now, let's create an intelligence agency, always a useful idea. And now we're pretty much ready, so don't do a focus, go to speed 5. And begin. Right, we have 56 political power, so first let's disband the Axis and start improving relations with Yugoslavia, and in a few days, just to find the US. There we go. This so now means Yugoslavia is feeling threatened by us, and we'll create a faction with us when our relations are high enough. There you go. Once we have 10 political power, we'll do the four year plan, because why not? There you go. On the same day as well, Yugoslavia is ready to create a faction with us, so you know what? Let's create cooler axis, which we are definitely not, but whatever. Perfect. For your plan, and stop improving relations with you, go. Have your army and navy ready to go, because you'll have a blip of supremacy when the war starts and nothing more. And there you go. Q in Yugoslavia, that's what we want. If we had the Yugoslavian civil war, we may as well have just restarted. Here's Peter II, let's wait for him to get guaranteed. There you go, it's now guaranteed, we're ready to go, so stop just the fight on the US, prepare war on Yugoslavia. For the units in France, rush down Paris, for the units in the UK, rush down the victory points like London and Liverpool. And now that the war's truly started, what you need to do is walk into Czechoslovakia so they're in the peace deal, and justify on Poland, as war goals are very cheap at this time. Right, let's go. And of course, let Italy into the faction, because why not, and assign your air force to whomever the Air Force is always useful. And there we go, that has gone very well. No sign of even the independent state of Croatia. Nice. So take whatever you want in this piece deal, I'm not too bothered. But I am definitely going to annex the Czechs, because tradition, basically. And from France, we may as well take alsace Lorraine because also tradition. And we are going to definitely need this state here in Syria, because it's core of Kurdistan, so make sure you take it. And take whatever the else you like. It's not too important. And there you go, there's the peace deal. Made some new puppets, gained some territory. We even have this little Easter egg here in Deutsch, Missile Africa. Hmm. <laughs> That's weird, but yeah. Oh well. And funnily enough, Italy still failed to beat Ethiopia by now. 
Oh well. So anyway, what you're going to do is when these units are ready, deploy them, but for the rest of the army, send it to the Polish border. Romania should guarantee them at some point, which is great, because it will draw us into the war. Right, with this 22, let's deploy some. There you go. Uh, this extra four can wait then, I suppose. I mean, we do need more units anyway, but... Anyway, we're going to fill out one army, like that. Give a few to that one, and send the remaining 12 to East Osprusen. So they can fill out the line there. And there you go, Romania is now guaranteed them, so war is inevitable. Uh, we'll train up more units, because why not? More units are always nice. Right, justification is ready, so we'll just wait a moment or so. We're gonna change our infantry template around a little bit. There you go. It's just a bit better as a 20 width. Also increases our army size. If anyone knows what I'm thinking, you know what I'm thinking. There you go. Deploy those final few little units, put them in position. Right, we're now ready. Boy, your plan is done, and we can do Anschlusk. Why not? Our main plan, now we'll go to war, there you go, as you can see war goals will be cheap again, there you go, so we're going to use these war goals to burst through Bulgaria and into Turkey, if we can do it right we should be able to get into Turkey and get them in the peace deal too, let's do this on aggressive, let's take everyone down, make good use of your tanks as well, the Germany, you're kind of a tank powerhouse. <laughs> Call in any of your puppets, we obviously don't allow Italy in, because Italy is Italy. That's everyone, pretty much. We managed to get Turkey, Yugoslavia, Bulgaria, and everyone else. <laughs> Perfect. Just means we're saved in Turkey for a lot of pain otherwise. Turkey's very mountainous, you know? <laughs> so we'll just take everyone. Because why not? We're just a final Iraq now, which should probably get Canada to guarantee them if I'm correct. So, that'll be fine. We can still use a trick of cheap war goals at this time. And there you go. That looks very weird, but whatever. So now we're going to send far too many units to the Iraqi border. Hell, we're probably about to get some Austrian ones too. Because we're doing Anschluss. Yep, look who's now the leader of the Allies. <laughs> and they're guaranteeing Iraq. <laughs> Perfect, cheap war goals for everyone. And there's the Anschluss. We pretty much bypassed most of these focuses now. We can even improve national spirit very early. Why would I do that? <laughs> May as well do things like the Ljubljana award so we can maybe get Greece. What question of Yugoslavia? No, seriously, I must be missing something here. We've done all of this as well before <laughs> the Spanish awards even begun. <laughs> right, we ready? There we go, let's declare war. Are cheap war goals available? Yes! So use them for anyone else you might want. Because, well, why not? None of these countries are in any way capable of stopping you.
And there's the end. Well, that was weird, but whatever. You know what, let's give the UK Ireland. That would be a nice mess. And take the rest. Got many war goals. Pretty much took everyone. And you know what? I'm getting a war goal on Italy. Let's take them out too. Why? Because tradition. And this time, you know what? Let's actually pop it to Dutch East Indies. There you go. Take it down, Italy is completely unnecessary. You can get House of Kurds now, but you know, tradition, isn't it? It's like the tradition where I ki kill Hungary for almost no reason. And somehow the Olympics took place in April 37. Right, Italy, you know the rules, and so do I. Say goodbye. Oh, that took far too long for what it was, but whatever. Let's annex Italy. That is one big Germany, isn't it? No, oh, we're about to get Operation Tannenbaum, so you know what? Let's take out Switzerland as our final victory lap of all 96 divisions. Right, let's annex Switzerland. There we go. Right, we've been beating around the issue, I think, for a while, so let's do the one thing we actually came here to do. Kill the Soviet Union. Nah, I kid. <laughs> uh, if you were going to, like, continue this game, this would be very, very easy to do a world conquest. I mean, we own so much already. Take down anyone wouldn't be too much of a problem. But anyway, back to the point. Far into the occupied territory screen. Where is it? There you go, Kurdistan. Release as a puppet as you want, but you know, has its own problems, so play as. Yep, yeah, that'll do. And there you go, the House of Kurds. As Kurdistan, with its unique portraits, holds all of its cores Tibrit, Van, so many more. But no coastline, and we're never getting one with Germany, such a big Germany around us. <laughs> Fun fact, this party here does have a unique portrait, so if you actually fit that geology, you'd also see a second unique portrait for the Kurds. Which I think is quite funny. Maybe I should do that. And this is what the fascist Kurdish leader looks like. <laughs> he looks like he's made out of plasticine or something. Oh, it's just the portrait is very, very shiny. It does have some interesting traits, though, it must be said. I mean, it's very war-focused, isn't it? Not the worst traits I've seen, though. If you're going to continue this game, good luck. <laughs> You'd probably have to ally with the Soviet Union to get anywhere, but... You know, it's 1937 and I've created one very, very, very strong Germany. So, you know what? I don't think anyone's long for this world. There are many ways to do House of Kurds, like many people say you should do it as Britain. I thought about doing it as Greece, but, you know, nice to have a bit of variation, do it like this. Do it via the quick way of taking down the Allies as quickly as possible. It's all fun, nevertheless. I don't know why you'd ever play Kurdistan, though. For you to get this, you basically do have to do a conquest of the region, so you're left with nothing to do. But, oh well. So, I thank you for watching this video, I do hope you've enjoyed it, leave any suggestions in the comments below for future videos, always looking for new video ideas, but until next time everybody, this has been me, Bubble Zest, and goodbye.